Okay, hey there guys, and I want to welcome you to this 2020 edition on how to create a landing page using Thrive Architect, which is one of my favorite uh, tech tools that I use for nearly everything um, from landing pages to sales pages to you name it. There are so many different things that you can do with this resource that I've just, I'm, I'm blown away almost every day, <laughs> honestly, every time that I use it. So anyways, what I wanted to show you guys is how to quickly create a landing page using Thrive Architect uh, for WordPress. Now I do run a WordPress site. And again, this is the tool of choice for me. Um, the thing that I love about it is that you only have to pay for it the one time after you pay for it. Um, you can use it depending on the license that you get um, on up to, I think, five sites for, um, uh, I think it's the kind of mid price level. And then I think you can also get a, a membership or get the membership where you can get access to all of their tools um, for a monthly membership uh, fee. Anywho. After you have downloaded uh, Thrive Architect and installed it, you essentially you would have to go and download what's called the Product Manager, which um, this is what this is. The Product Manager is going to be a plugin that you just basically download as a zip file. You're going to come over and you're going to upload it to your WordPress website. You're going to activate it, and then it's going to ask you to connect to the um, to connect to your account with your username and your password. Once you do that, you're going to see all of the options for the products that you have access to. So, for example, if I go to Pro Product Manager right now in my WordPress website, you can see that these are the products that I have access to, which is going to be Thrive Leads, Thrive Ultimatum, Thrive Architect. And then I also have um, access to one of their legacy themes, which is the focus block theme. OK, so anywho, um, after you get things installed and get it activated, you're just basically going to um, uh, click the activate button beneath Thrive Architect to make sure that it's activated. OK, and then you're off to the races. Now, to create the actual landing page, guys, what you want to do, of course, is you want to go to new and then you want to click page because we do want to create a new page. In WordPress okay so I'm just gonna name this test TCB okay 2020 all right I'm gonna go ahead and publish this page on my WordPress website now once this is done what you want to do is you want to click launch Thrive Architect and this is going to bring up the different uh, templates and things like that in Thrive Architect now in order to get to the landing page templates in Thrive Architect, guys, what you're going to do is it's going to show you what page would you like to create as a pop-up, right? So if you just want to use your own themes template, you're going to select that, or you want to select standalone pre-built landing page. And as you can see, it's going to be selecting from over 200 pre-built pre -built landing pages for WordPress websites, okay? So we're going to select that. And then as you can see, these are some of the different landing page designs that come with Thrive Architect, and they've added some more stuff. So if you have an online course that you want to sell, you can use this template. Um, this is one for like a fit brand or like a workout brand. Um, here's one that I use all of the time, which is called the Bright Smart, which has 13 different templates in it. So this is the one that we're going to use. But you can see they have a Chic Smart consultant page, all kinds of stuff. But we're just going to go to where it says Bright Smart, and I'm going to go ahead and select these different templates now. We're just creating something that's going to be super easy. You know, it doesn't have to take all day. So I like to use the page that is called the Bright Smart. Uh, where is it? Here it is. So it's called Bright Smart Lead Generation. OK, so I'm going to select this landing page and I'm going to say I want to apply. Click apply template to apply this template to my page. OK, and this is pretty much it. Now, one of the main reasons that, of course, I love using Thrive Architect is because you get to change the colors, you can add your brand's color schemes to your pages, and so on and so forth. So, for example, um, red is not a color that is in my brand's color schemes. And so what I'm going to do in order to change this is I'm going to select this, and then over here where it says Style, Colored Section, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlink that style because I don't want to use the style that they have. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to main options and let's see style options and let's see background style. And I'm going to go here 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlink the color from the template because again, I don't want to use this. I don't want to use this color. This is not my color. And so I'm going to go here into this box and I'm going to add my own hexadecimal color code to apply this to the page. So you see what I did? I changed that in like a matter of minutes, okay? Because I don't want to use that red. That's just not <laughs> the color that I want to use. Now, another cool thing when you're using Thrive Architect, guys, is after you add a color that is in your color palette, what you can do is you can tell it that you want to save this as a new color by clicking the little plus button. You can save it as a favorite, and then you can basically apply. So whenever you're creating different landing pages, sales pages, and things like that using Thrive, you can basically go back and just kind of use that color again um, without having to put in the color code every time. So for example, um, with it says enter your name and email address to get instant access, blah, blah, blah. If I want to change the color of this text, what I can do is I can go over to main options. I can go over to color. Now, as you can see, I've added this as a favorite, favorite color. So I can click on this, click apply, and there you go. It changed the color from the, the red to the green. Okay. Now, um, this is where you would go in to add the title of the free thing that you're giving away. So maybe you're giving away a freebie that teaches people five simple steps to building a profitable. Oh, oh goodness, I'm clicking some stuff here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> a profitable, a profitable website. Okay. All right. And so what I would do is I would actually unbold this and unbold that just to kind of put emphasis on profitable. Okay. And then as you can see here, they have a um, kind of a an image of a freebie that you could use for, you know, to give away, right? So again, in this freebie for this content box, again, I don't want to use the colors and things like that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually delete this by clicking this, okay, to get rid of this. And then I'm going to go here where the little plus symbol is, and I'm going to drag an image over here. And I just want to make sure that it's going to say above the um, background section. Okay, so I'm going to insert an image. Now, here is where you can go into your media library if you already have an image of the free thing, the free offer that you're planning to give away. And you can upload an image of that free offer. So, for example, if I wanted to give away like a kit or something like that, I think I should have something in here already that I can use. So let's just see here. Okay, so let's see. I know this is not what I'm giving away, but um, this is like an example of a graphic that I could upload to this page. So I'll put this in here. And then what you can do, of course, is you can always make this a little smaller because like that's too big, right? <laughs> and then after you do this, you can put this in under layout and position. You can click to center this so that it's in the center of the page. Now, another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bring up the, uh, the um, what is this? This is called the background, or not the background section, but this is another section of the page, which is below. And as you can see, there's too much of a gap right here. And I want to bring this down. So I'm going to go right here and change that to 50 to kind of bring it down a little bit. And then right here is just basically the last thing that you want to do, guys, is you want to connect this form to your email uh, service, your email marketing service, right? So this is called a lead generation box. And so what you want to do is you want to click on main options, and then you want to click on add a new connection, okay? And then from here, you want to choose a connection. Now, I have my email uh, set up to connect to Active Campaign because that is the email marketing and automation service that I'm currently using. If you have a new connection that you want to connect to this, then you're going to have to go in and add that connection, an API connection to Active, I'm not, not to Active Campaign, but you're going to have to add a new API connection into Thrive Architect, and then you can come back and select it. So I'm going to go ahead and just click Active Campaign. Because again, that's what I'm using. It's going to ask me, well, which mailing list do you want to connect to? I'm going to just do test YCG. And then it's going to say, okay, well, what form do you want to connect um, this, this list to? And so I'm going to do the test YCG form. I'm not going to add any tags. And then I'm just going to click apply. Okay. 
So that pretty much has connected this lead generation form to my email uh, marketing service, okay? Now I'm going to come over to where it says get access because I don't like the color of this button. I've learned that whenever you're creating different buttons and things like that on a landing page or on a sales page or whatever it is, you want to make sure that you have something that's going to stand out, okay, on the page. So one of my colors that I, my go-to colors that I use when it comes to buttons and things like that is yellow. It just stands out. It's a different color from the rest of the page, as you can see. So it's really going to jump out at people when they come to the landing page and they see that yellow button there. OK, so in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit form elements. OK, I'm going to go down here to this button. And then what I'm going to do is go to background style. And this is where you can change the color. So I'm going to click in this. I already have a yellow color save, so I'm going to change the color. To this key lime color I'm gonna click apply and then as you can see now the get access button is now yellow okay so once you're done changing your lead generation form you just click done at the bottom and then I'm gonna click to save the work okay now after you're done with making the changes that you want to make to your uh, landing page you basically are just gonna do a save and preview and dun, 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 dun. this is what the page looks like yay so in a matter of like 10 minutes, guys, we've created a really simple landing page that you can use to promote a product, to promote a free ebook that you're giving away, to promote a free swipe file, a free kit, whatever it is that you want to promote, you can use your landing page to do that, okay? So if there's any other changes that you want to make, then all you have to do is just click the button that says Edit with Thrive Architect again, okay? And then it's going to take you back to the editor. And I did see one thing that I did want to change, and it was at the bottom here of the page. Okay, so these are global fields and let's see, global fields dashboard. Okay, so these are some global fields that you can come in here and, you know, fill out as far as your company and all this other kind of stuff. I'm really not going to do that right now. But that is where you can go to change these fields at the bottom of the page. And actually, I kind of liked it how they had it the old way where you could just come in and just kind of write whatever stuff you wanted to write in here. Now, I am going to change 2020, and I guess I could do yourchicgeek.com, and I'm going to just delete that <laughs> out. Okay, so I'm just going to do that, and then that's it. All right. So now we're going to preview this once more, and we should be pretty much done with creating this landing page. So there you go. So guys, that pretty much wraps up the conclusion on how to create a landing page using Thrive Architect. Again, I think it's one of the most powerful resources and tools for a WordPress websites. And um, if you are struggling with landing page design and you have a WordPress website, you want something that's going to make your life easier, I highly suggest checking out Thrive Architect, okay? Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good one. Stay safe out there, and uh, there will be more videos headed your way. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.